I travel a lot for my job and my houseplant suffers for it. So I found this kit on Amazon and I really like it. So I thought I'd make a video and show everybody how to use it. Um, when you get the box, this is what you're gonna find. A spool of plastic hose, uh, some hard plastic drip tips. Uh, you get a bag with some three-way and four-way splitters, as well as an intake filter and a USB power cable. And this is the uh, controller and pump module. So the first thing you're going to want to do is cut your tie wraps off of the uh, plastic hose and let this start relaxing because it makes it a lot easier to work with. And the next thing we'll get into is the programming of the control module. Okay, so this is the controller pump. I've got it powered by USB power right here. But one thing that I like about this is that it also has batteries. So if something happens and this were to come unplugged, uh, it would continue to operate on battery power until the batteries went dead. So you've got three buttons here. The one on the far right is watering time. So you push it once to bring up the display and then you push it again to, uh, to make adjustments. Uh, I've measured this pump to operate. Uh, this pump pumps about 100, mil, 100 milliliters per minute uh, is what I've measured it at. So right now it's trying to pump. Um, the button on the far right is interval time. So 0 0.1 means it's gonna pump for 80, 80 seconds, one time per hour. So 0 0.4 would be every four hours. That would be every 10, 12, and then it goes to one day. And uh, this will go from one hour intervals all the way up to 30 day intervals. Um, the button in the middle, which says M, if you push that, the pump will uh, begin operating and it won't stop until you push it again. I want to go for 80 seconds, roughly once every four to six hours. Um, I have a fairly large plant, so your results will vary depending on the size of plant you have and the size of the pot that you have. Okay, so here I've got the pump mounted uh, to my bucket. So you just take and you cut your hose to length, okay? And you install your uh, filter and that helps weight the hose down so it stays at the bottom of your bucket. And you attach that to the inside of the pump. And then you run your hose and drip tube over to your plant. You connect that to the outside of the pump. So you just uh, hook up your hose, uh, slide your hose over your drip tip. And you might use a little dish soap or something to help it slide on. It can be a bit of a tight fit and then you just insert it into the dirt about three quarters of the way. So to test your pump, you can just push the manual button in the middle, push it once, it brings up the display, push it again, and it begins pumping. And as I said before, this, uh, using this method, it will pump continuously. To stop it, just push it again and now it's back to interval timer. So the way I have it set up right now will run for 80 seconds every one day. So it's pretty simple to use and it works really good. Thanks for watching.